What's up everybody? So today's video, we're gonna do a quick unbox and take a look at the Oakley Thin Link sunglasses. So I just bought these on Oakley's website. Crazy enough, they were 50% off. So I got a heck of a deal. They were $80 after taxes. I'll have a link to them down below just so you can go ahead and check them out. But I didn't really see any good videos on them. I love sunglasses, I love Oakley sunglasses. And I was really curious as to what these looked like and I've never bought a pair of sunglasses sight unseen, just ordering them online. I had never seen these before in person. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what they look like and compare them to the Too Faced as well as the Holbrook, just to give you a reference. But here is a good look. They're a pretty square shape and they have some pretty nice designs to them. We'll get a close up on my desk here in a second. But just to go ahead and look at them on me, I think my face is a pretty normal size and shape. <laughs> but they have a really good design. I'm very happy with them. And the coolest thing about them is you'll notice there's no frame underneath the lenses. So that's kind of the unique aspect to these. So with that said, if we take a look at the Oakley Too Faced right alongside them. Now all these are pretty much the same color combination, but these thin links right here are the polished black frames with the black iridium lens. So you can see how they look against the Too Faced. Very similar. And even the side profile is pretty similar with just kind of how the shapes are. And then with the Oakley Hallbrook, same thing, kind of a square shape with the square shape. So pretty similar design to them all. And now let's get a real quick close up. Definitely a pretty sweet setup. So take a closer look now at these thin link. You can see the shape and design of them. They do have a pretty cool edgy look to them, kind of on that side. Then you can see the sharp lines going down towards the back and then a nice square shape for these lenses. So then a closer look at everything from the side, you can see how the Oakley logo is laid out. You get a pretty cool edgy design. This is a satin finish down here, and like the name suggests, very thin on these stems. So pretty cool the way everything is set up. You can see it says thin link right in here, may not focus on that. Have the same line going down at Oakley badge on the back. Nothing really over on this side. And then they kind of lock into place. They are fully polycarbonate, so there's no metal or anything to them. But that's how they look in this configuration. So that is kind of a good walk around of them, how they look. And then once again, we'll pull up these two faces next to them. You can see how it's a pretty similar pair. The upper portion on these sides looks similar. And then of course the two face has the aluminum piece underneath the lens while this has nothing. So there are some similarities between the two. Pretty similar of the shape of the lenses and everything. And then again at the Hallbrooks, a little bit different side stems and then pretty squared off lenses. So then just another look at them and everything with the stems and the frames. And then just to compare them on me at least, how these look versus the two faces. I like how they are similar. They have that square shape. And I think if you're used to the two faces or the Hallbrook, these are going to be a pair of sunglasses that are probably gonna be something you like. Hallbrooks, of course. And my favorite thing about these thin links is how lightweight they are. They are insanely light, especially since there's nothing underneath the lenses. Now the only bit of caution I would take with these is the fact that there's nothing protecting the bottom side of these lenses. So I would be careful when you're setting them down, lenses down. I would maybe always set them down upside down, that way there's something to protect them, because you wouldn't want to get some sort of chip or something on them. And then it'd be interesting to see if these ever pop out of the frames because the frame's only holding half of the lens in place. And I would assume if you bent it up enough, they could probably pop out. However, I mean, if you're just a little bit careful with them, just be a little cautious, they should be good. But I like the design, how it has kind of that sharper edge to it and it wraps around the lens like that. But yeah, that is just a quick look at these sunglasses. I'm not sure how popular they are. Again, I didn't really see any good videos of anybody showing what these look like on people or even just holding them uh, in general like this. So I figured I'd make these, especially since I got them for such a good deal. Uh, definitely worth buying. Not sure if they're gonna be discontinued or not, but definitely a pretty cool setup if you're used to kind of these square shaped lenses on different sunglasses.
But that is a quick look at the Oakley Thin Link sunglasses. Hope you like them and enjoyed the video, taking a look at them, comparing them to a few other popular Oakleys. I like these as my newest setup. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next video.